So we've got the papers, we've got the little cup of espresso coffee. It can only be one thing, football roundup of the World Cup with myself. Going. Now it's a beautiful day, and unfortunately I'm not reading so many beautiful things in the papers. Most of the people, most of the journalists, seem to be obsessed with one thing, the cacophony of noise produced by the Vuvuzela. Now there's obviously a reason for this, it's, um, I mean it's part of the South African culture, it's a decent instrument and it could be played very, very well. Unfortunately, as we all know, most of the supporters going out there don't have a clue how to play it. Let's just see how uh, people out in the stadiums in South Africa play the Vuvuzela. Not nice, is it? Let's have a look at the real technique of how to play the Vuvuzela. Number one, lip action. With your lips, keep them pursed and blow like so during the whole exhalative action. The second thing you want to be aware of is your diaphragm. Now, unlike in singing, you're not actually using your diaphragm. All the air has to come from your cheeks. So forget what you learned at school in those singing lessons. This is Vuvuzela lessons, and I'm the master here. So if we put those two things together, let's see what kind of sound we can create. The lips, the cheeks,